Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr Hasna and today I am about to make anatomy fun and easy for you as we begin the new module GIT so subscribe to my channel stay tuned because I'm going to be releasing videos on this every day and guys with a motivational background which probably you guys can't read but I'll say it to you always believe in yourself let's get started with the GIT anatomy beginning from the oral cavity and palate I've got all my gadgets ready to teach you this topic let's nail it So first things first with my friend over here let me just explain to you what oral cavity exactly is what is the palate basically this is your face and a sagittal section but obviously you can see the brain first and then the nasal cavity and then as you go down you see the mouth area and then you go down there is the larynx and posteriorly the esophagus and this entire area behind the nasal cavity and the mouth is the pharynx right so this is a little orientation of this model so the oral cavity is basically obviously the beginning of the GIT from here this is where the food begins like the first thing you do is take the food into your mouth now the oral cavity is basically divided into two parts there is the vestibule and an oral cavity proper yaar ye chodo let's switch it up so here we are inside the oral cavity what can you see behind me let me show it to you guys these are the teeth I'm sure you guys don't have much idea of the teeth. Let me just tell you how the teeth are. Guys, remember that anterior teeth are always going to be the incisors. On the lateral ends, we have the canines. All right, canines ke baad aa jate hain aapke premolars, and finally in the end come the molars. All right, so we have an upper jaw, lower jaw, same teeth hote hain. Upper bhi niche bhi obviously. Or kya hoga? So guys, let's suppose that this entire area where I am standing, yahan par lips begin ho jayenge aur laterally cheeks begin ho jayenge. Aur ye saara aapka tongue pada. So this is where I'll talk about the. two components of the entire oral cavity the oral cavity is divided into a vestibule and oral cavity proper vestibule kya hai where i'm standing right now everything related to the outer surface of the teeth is the vestibule so if i'm over here over here lie your upper lip and lower lip and the only thing you need to know about the lip is the philtrum which is a shallow groove that lies on your upper lip and now we're going to go laterally and check out the vestibule that is related to the cheek so over here we have the cheek or you have to say in the lateral relation of the vestibule is the cheek containing this important buxae wala muscle buxa kyun kehte hain it's known as a buccinator buccinator is going to be lying lateral in the vestibule now one important part of this area of the vestibule that i want you to remember that in the upper second molar tooth over there in the gum in the vestibular area is the opening of what gland the parotid gland do not forget this so overall this is the vestibule now we're going to discuss the oral cavity proper for that once again i'll have to make that switch so 3 2 so first things first i know you're asking yourself this question what am i doing in this tiny screen just kidding i know you're asking about the oral cavity because we are going to focus our attention on the board now this here is a huge warning that my writing is not going to be the best so please don't make fun of it and appreciate that i'm teaching you <laughs> the oral cavity is basically consisting of the uh, oral cavity proper and the vestibule now let's suppose the teeth lie over here so guys the teeth anteriorly uh, go to the lips this is the part of the vestibule and all over the teeth go to laterally to the cheeks this entire area will be the vestibule which is lying on the outer surface of the all the teeth and within side the teeth the inner surface of the teeth is completely surrounded the oral cavity proper the oral cavity proper is bounded by because anatomy has boundaries everywhere it is bounded superiorly by this guy right here what is this this is the entire palate and we're going to discuss that in detail today and inferiorly or the floor of this oral cavity proper is formed by the tongue you can see over here the tongue is forming the floor of it all right now remember one thing that the tongue is connected to the floor of the mouth like this part of the tongue is connected to the floor of the mouth by this median fold in the midline that you can literally see and even like uh, if you try to look at it you can see it you can even feel it that this fold is going to be known as the frenulum so remember this frenulum on either side of it is the opening of the submandibular gland duct all right so ducts open on either side of the frenulum and that's not it on either side of the frenulum the mucous membrane is also thrown into more folds like that these are known as the plica fimbriata let me just write guys once again uh, do not make fun of my writing this is how it works i do not have a arm rest or like the elbow rest so do not say anything roof let's start the discussion of palate the the roof is formed by hard palate in front and posteriorly soft palate what is the difference between the two palates Uh, the hard palate consists of bone whereas the soft palate will only consist of uh, muscle and you know aponeurosis etc 
so heart palate the first question that's going to be asked from you is what are the bones constituting the heart palate skull the skull has a bone obviously bone skull se hai you know organs hai ki so from the skull there is a frontal bone over here and then as we go we have the um, like the nasal aperture and then we have the upper jaw wow that looks like a snowman guy upper jaw this upper jaw is known as the maxilla all right now maxilla is very busy it has other things to do in its life it's not only sitting here for us right but then what it does is it sends a process over here like that known as the palatine process to form what we call the hard palate a part of the hard palate and from posterior side the palatine bone comes into play and forms by its horizontal plate it forms the hard palate's posterior part all right so over here you can see that we have two bones that are forming the hard palate all together so what do we have first we have the palatine process of the maxilla Uh, anteriorly and posteriorly we have the uh, horizontal plate of the palatine bone so this overall together is becoming the what do we call the hard palate all right this is the story of the hard palate and then begins posterior to this is the story of mr soft palate he says i need my uh, role in this movie as well for how can you guys forget me so then we just draw a soft palate now the soft palate is where a little bit of a confusion will begin not confusion or like more difficult part of this entire situation now the soft palate is going to be formed like this you guys you can see the soft palate what can you see of the soft palate when you open your mouth like ah you can see this thing hanging this is known as the uvula this is basically the part of the soft palate now let's talk about the boundaries of the soft palate a little so you understand it better so let's suppose there's anterior there's posterior This over here is the anterior border of the soft palate. It is what is going to be attached to the hard palate in the front. This is the hard palate. Obviously, already told you guys. Why don't you know that? If you don't know that yet, that's really sad for you. Posterior border of this soft palate is free. All right. This is where I'm going to bring my little um, DIY project into play. Roll. This is my DIY soft palate. Try to be creative. This is the hard palate, and then the soft palate. All right. So the soft palate is a little this way, like concave anteriorly. So you can see it's going to be uh, hanging like that. So anterior border is going to be attached to the hard palate. Makes sense. आगे की बात समझ आ गई है. पीछे की बात जरा सा confusing है. Now listen to me very carefully. When you view someone's mouth, what do you see? You see this hanging portion, right? So what about the rest of the portion? You see these two arches that are formed. So the posterior border of the soft palate in its median part is folded to form the uvula that is hanging over here you can see and on either side these two arches you can see what is an arch c shaped situation right so this arch is known as palato glossal arch all right this is what you see right next to the uvula so palato glossal arch obviously you can see it like that but it goes all the way to the sides of the tongue and that's not it the soft palate has a posterior part as well yaar kyu har cheez ke extra parts aa jate hain but aa gaya ab hum kya kar sakte posterior fold is also existing anteriorly median is uvula on either side palatoglossal folds what about this fold it is going to go posteriorly to the pharynx so obviously if it's going from the palate to the pharynx this fold is going to be known as a palatopharyngeal fold this can be viewed in the model as so these two folds uh, the you, the free posterior border of the soft palate is all anteriorly going to extend to the tongue and form the palato glossal fold whereas posteriorly it's going to extend from once again the palate to the pharynx because this area is the pharynx right the palato pharyngeal fold therefore these two folds between them is this fossa which is occupied by this uh, structure you can see is the palatine tonsil so anteriorly is bounded by the palato glossal and posteriorly by the palato pharyngeal and in between them is the uh, tonsillar fossa containing the palatine tonsil Uh, hi, I'm back. By the way, uh, so guys, a median fold of the posterior border of the soft palate is going to form what we call the uvula, whereas the lateral part of it anteriorly will form what we call the palato because it's coming from the palate, going all the way to the sides of the tongue. Therefore, palato glossal. Anything related to the tongue is glossal. So, palato glossal fold will be formed. And when you what you see is the palato glossal arch formed by that fold. Posteriorly, the same. a soft palate is going to extend to the pharynx because obviously anteriorly lies the tongue posteriorly lies the pharynx so posteriorly it's going to form this fold over here you can see it over here is going to be known as the palato pharyngeal fold all right so this is the pp and this is the pg all right that makes sense we're going to talk about the constituents of the palate what lies within the palate so remember one thing that you're going to say is the most important constituent is the palatine aponeurosis The next question that's going to be asked from you is what is forming the palatine aponeurosis you're going to say it is being formed by the 
tensor villi palatinia the tv muscle comes on the tv has its own acute so tensor villi palatini with this comes the next important part of the soft palate which is the muscles of the soft palate all of these muscles are lying embedded in the soft palate and these are which muscles let's figure out so the first muscle we have within the soft palate these are all the muscles that are inside the soft palate the first muscle is tensor villi palatini which is going to form the palatine aponeurosis that makes sense so tensor villi palatini ka ek copy cat hota hai theek hai bada koi kisam ka na chamcha hota hai so obviously it's going to be the levator villi palatini you're just going to change that name up levator villi palatini and then comes your next two muscles that are going to come are very easy they are what you uh, the two arches that we studied or the two folds we studied you just have to give them a muscle so the first muscle we studied was the palatoglossus and then the second was the palatopharyngeus these are the two muscles in the palatoglossal fold in the palatopharyngeus fold that makes a lot of sense and finally the last muscle is the one that nobody kis koi se poochta nahi hai yaar uvula ko to uvula kehta hai bhai mujhe bhi thoda sa kuch de do yaar sabko to de diya muscle thoda hamare bare mein bhi koi soch le so random sa koi bhi muscle uh, isko mil jata hai called the musculus uvula it looks like you know someone really didn't give it a thought when they decided this name so these are the five muscles of the palate now uh, the question arises how do we remember all the origin insertion in nerves so it gets a little tricky and once again we're making an anatomy fun and easy here so guys you are lucky you are watching this all of these muscles are supplied by one nerve and one nerve only known as the vagus nerve this is the 10th cranial nerve all right the only muscle that is not really supplied by this will be which one what do you think should it should be it's going to be the one that is going to show up on the tv ओके द एल वी गाइज लाइक ओके आल टेक टेन आर ऑन माइंड यू नो एल वी के बैग पकड़ने हमने काम करना है इट्स ओके आल डू इट बट लाइक वट अबाउट द टेंसर विलाय पेलेटिनी वो एज टू कम ऑन द टी वी सेज दैट यार लोअर नंबर डोंट सूट मी आई नीड अ हायर नंबर सो द टेंसर विलाय पेलेटिनी इज सप्लाइड बाई फिफ्थ क्रेनियल नर्व मैंडिबुलर डिविजन दिस इज नोन एज अ ट्राइजेमल नर्व इट्स मैंडिबुलर डिविजन और राइट सो दिस इज गोन बी सप्लाई सो नर्व सप्लाई इज डन इजी पीजी लेट्स टॉक विद एक्शन टेंसर वी लाय पेलेटिनी मीनिंग टेंस इज द पेलेटाइन पैलेट all right and levator means um elevates the palate palatoglossus now something that's coming from the gloss uh, from the palate going towards the tongue is going down right so it elevates the tongue because it's pulling it from the palate agar palate se tongue ko pull karoge to upar hi jayegi na so it elevates the tongue and then we have the palatopharyngeus it elevates the or pulls the pharynx because palate se aayega and it goes to the pharynx so obviously it's going to give a pull to the pharynx and finally muscular uvula once again this is also going to pull the uvula upwards like that so that you can swallow and like the food doesn't go into regurgitate into your nose so that's how it works these are the actions very easy one more action that i want you to remember which is very extremely important is guys these two muscles are also going to be acting on the auditory tube now auditory tube is this uh, tiny tube that may, is basically present in your nasal cavity wall what it does is that it maintains the ear pressure uh, behind your eardrum is the middle ear right so from the middle ear to the nasal cavity this tube is connected so that the air from the nasal cavity can maintain pressure within the middle ear i hope that makes sense if it doesn't make sense it's totally fine just remember auditory tube you know that tube where like when you try to open your ears and then like the thing that contracts and opens your ear uh, that is the auditory tube so these two are also responsible for opening or like tensing up the auditory tube so remember that in their action as well origin insertion kaise padhna hai bas itni si baat yaad rakh lo anything that is uh, ending with palate is going to be inserted into the palatine aponeurosis so tvp mr tv is getting inserted into palatine aponeurosis mr lv with the lv bag and the brands is going to be inserted into the palatine aponeurosis but anything that's starting with the palato means it is going to be originating from the palatine aponeurosis you see what i did there kitna easy ho gaya na this is ab yaad karne wali cheeze kya rahegi in dono ki origins in dono ki insertion this is very easy this is going to originate from the posterior border of the hard palate as we saw over here guys this is the posterior border of the hard palate yahi se originate hoga and it just goes posteriorly and gets inserted in the mucous membrane of the uvula obviously aur kahan jayega yaar bechara okay and then what about these two uh palato glossus so it go, gets inserted in the sides of the tongue palato pharyngeus inserted into the uh, thyroid cartilage is where the uh, pharyngeal area is uh, just say thyroid cartilage is where it's going to be inserted it's not a big deal in dono mein bas thoda sa yaad karna hoga idhar apne spine of sphenoid dalna hai spine of sphenoid is also one of the bones of the base of the skull so just add that over there uh, it coming from spine of sphenoid auditory tube is the tensor villi palatini and what about the levator villi palatini insertion in the palatine aponeurosis uh where does it come from though it comes from the temporal bone and the auditory tube you just have to uh, add that in your memorization power a little bit and that's all for the muscles of the soft palate i really hope today's video really helped you guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you so much for watching